You saw the pile of letters that I gave to you. We also got a lot of calls about Sweetie. People wanting interviews, sex, God knows what. I pretended to listen. Yeah, well, this guy thinks he is Sweetie Ness or puts on a pretty good show. So he's crazy. He's not the only one. He committed to the part, gave himself cigarette burns to match the ones Mama gave Sweetie. Oh, God. He may have gone further than he needed to there. What do you mean? I don't exactly want the world to know, but in his book, Sweetie may have exaggerated a few of the gory details. Poetic license? He liked to give people what they wanted. Did she just tell us Sweetie didn't really have those cigarette burns? No, she said he might not. Why would she make her star writer a liar? Let's go look at some skin. Smooth as a baby's bottom. And there's something else about his posterior you might find interesting. He's supposed to be a male prostitute? I'm not sure he was supposed to be, but he was. Well, he's the strangest prostitute I ever saw. I checked for evidence of sex before he was killed. It's no indication. There's also no indication of fibrotic changes to his sphincter. No scars, no warts, no STDs. He's an anal virgin. So he lied about the cigarette burns, the rapes, the arrests. It's one of those fake memoirs. Or a stolen one. They ran the prints from the blonde guy's hotel room. Guess who is a male prostitute? Cody Larson, 24, busts for drug possession, loitering, soliciting, mostly in truck stops. So Cody Larson really was Sweetie Nice. Mm -hmm. He even had the burns. So you think he read that book and figured someone had stolen his life? And motored up to New York to get it back. What about the agent, Kate Tenney? Was she conned by a fake Sweetie Ness, or was she in on the gag? Well, she didn't have many clients. Came out of nowhere a couple of years ago as an agent. Now, her bio only says she used to be a journalist. Pretty Boys, The Tragic Lives of Child Prostitutes. Yeah, I can't get away with those kids. Really got them to open up. It's like she spoke their language. Yeah, she interviewed a bunch of them. Trailer parks, truck stops, drugs, rapes. His mother was a monster. She sold him to her Johns and laughed about putting out cigarettes on his buttocks. That was Cody Larson, right? You met him 10 years ago when you wrote that article. I don't know, they used made up names. Yeah, then you ripped him off and wrote your book based on his life story. He must have been plenty pissed when he found out. He came to New York, he called you. I told you, I get a lot of crazy calls. Mm -hmm. You wanna hear crazy, lady? That body that we have in the morgue. We ran it through missing persons and it came back an actor from Louisville named Dale Marks. His mother said he came to New York for some kind of job and never came home. You hired him to play Sweetie Ness, didn't you? Based on the book that you wrote, based on the life story that you stole from Cody Larson. Oh, God. Look, I thought the world should know what was happening to these children. No one was speaking up for them. No one. So you stepped up. Cody wasn't going to write a book. I didn't even know he could read. And I didn't think that it would get anyone killed. Yeah, and while you've been lying to us to protect your phony book, the killer's been getting away. You have any ideas where we can find him? Right now. He called me. He was angry. He wanted the world to know that he was Sweetie Ness, and he wanted some money. So I sent him a little, twice, just so that I could keep him quiet while I figured things out. How'd you send the money? The first wire transfer was picked up at a store in the West Village. She sent the second one the day before the murder. It was picked up last night at the Cross Bronx Truck Plaza. Either he hopped on a truck and he's gone. Or he's back to his old tricks, working the truck stops. Home sweet home. You know, I know that place from when I worked Vice. There are 30 ways in and out, and truckers and hustlers can smell cops a mile away. So what should we smell like? How's my audio? I can hear your gears grinding. Uh -huh. Well, next time, give me a longer driving lesson. <laughs> All right, turn off your headlights and leave the parking and roof lights on. Done. Now you're gonna have to look for a date, so go inside, get the mouthwash, make sure people see it. I don't mind telling you this, but that kind of weirds me out a little. 
That's a big 10-4, buddy. Anything else? That, that'll be it. Thanks. You looking for a party, handsome? I, I might be. Not you, though. I like a man who's all man. Honey. <laughs> I'm more man than you can handle. A little wider, too, and younger. No offense. None taken, honey. The customer's always right. You know, I got a friend now. Just be sure to give him an extra big tip for me, OK? It's been a half an hour. You think he's got appointments backed up, or what? Same old story. White boy gets the job. <laughs> Someone's coming your way. I hear you're looking for some company. Come on in. It's 30 for oral, 50 gets you anything you want. I got 50. And I got anything you want. You read that book? Pretty good. That's me. I'm Sweetie Ness. I don't think so. This guy got himself killed the other night. You can't believe everything you read in the papers. And who got himself killed? You don't know anything. This guy was famous. He's just some truck stop twink. So what do you want to do here exactly? Huh? Hold on, hold on. Cody, I'm a cop. You're under arrest. Oh, Let's hold still. And I'm going to need that 50 bucks back. 